Okay, so what is up guys? Welcome back to another quick video. Today I wanted to talk about the Elgato Wave Harm LP. That is this low profile boom harm that I'm using right now. And it currently retails for around $100 before tax. Although you're probably never going to be able to buy it at that price. But we're going to talk about that a little more later on in the video. The kind of gods. So this mic arm right here is a game changer, mostly because it's the first low profile boom harm that I have seen that actually retails for around $100. I can remember I've wanted to start a podcast for like the longest time, but I didn't follow through, mostly because I didn't want to use any of the other boom harms that I had, either the Angin ones or the Rode PSA type ones. They just didn't seem like they would work for me because then you have that post sticking in the video and then it just... No, I, I didn't like the idea of that. So I wanted something low profile. Unfortunately, the only company that was making those kinds of things at that time was the OC White. And I think OC White had this Pro Ultima Boom Harm that basically had the option of a bushing or a desk mount or something like that. And that one was like 400 to like $500, depending on the kind of setup that you picked. And it just didn't make sense to me to buy multiple units of a $450 boom harm for microphones that definitely cost way less. It just, it didn't add up. So the fact that Elgato was actually able to do this for us and actually still sell it for $99.99 is absolutely insane. But of course, because this is something everybody has been waiting for for a very long time, this device is not something that you're going to be able to get for the actual price of $99.99. You only have to check online to see the prices that this is going for. Even on Amazon, yeah, the actual device is always out of stock. But if you want to buy from other sellers, you're going to be getting it from anywhere from $125 to $200, to be honest. And then on eBay, if you're trying to buy it used, you might be lucky and get it for just under $120, if you're lucky. But anyways, let's actually talk about why this device is so nice and why it's so important. So because of the low profile design, right, it's able to hang your microphone or hold your microphone and actually keep it completely out of the way, which means this does not put your microphone in your face or hanging over your head or anything like that. Because it's low profile, if you want to use this at your desk, you can actually just fold it down and pack it down under your monitor. Maybe you want to do a quick voiceover and then you want to pack the mic back. This microphone harm can actually pass underneath your monitor without causing any trouble and it can pack away very nicely. It packs a lot better than the upward hanging road PSA type mic boom harms in my opinion. So you can actually use your microphone without having to worry about the microphone getting in the shot and running everything. Right now I'm using the Rode Pod mic and as you can see it actually still looks really good and it doesn't mess up my shot in any way. Now the beautiful thing about this also is if I decided to stand or I was a little shorter or a little taller this is adjustable so the neck of the mic arm can be moved like so. If I wanted to, and it can go lower, completely out of shot. And you can come back to the exact way that it was before. I love how adjustable this thing is, and I love how easy it was to set up. It pretty much took me like 30 seconds to put everything together. The desk clamp, the mid point, and then this part that actually just adjusts. And then I just attached my mic, and I was pretty much done. Now, there is one con with this device that I did find a solution that's not exactly great, but it works. Um, so this bit that covers the cables that go on the or inside the microphone, your XLR cables, it essentially pops off quite easily. Like it's ridiculous how easy it is to pop this off, both like for the mid harm and the part that actually adjusts. It's completely too easy. It's annoying. I mean, it's magnetic, so I wish the magnets were a little stronger and they didn't... Sorry, excuse me. Yes, I wish the magnets were a little stronger and they didn't pop off that easily, but they do. So what I've done is I have attached a, a Velcro strap and I've used that to pretty much hold them in place so that they're not constantly popping off. I experienced the popping off thing on the first day that I actually set this up and I was like, nah, I'm not going to be dealing with this. And I just put the Velcro on there and... It might not look great, but it works for me at least. The only other thing that might be a gripe is going to have to be this proprietary mount that they're using to hold the mic up on this end. I, I don't understand why they would do something like that. It's really, really annoying. I mean, it would have been better if it was a simple ball head design or just a regular road PSA type thing that we could attach our microphones to, but they chose to go with this thing that's... I'm not sure what to call this, but I don't like it because if I managed to break this i'm not sure i'm going to be able to get a replacement for it which is 
it's questionable to be honest. I mean, I would, I would like to be able to replace parts of my boom arm, especially a boom arm that's so expensive. And as far as I know, I haven't found a place to actually buy just this head. I'm sure if I look hard enough, I'll probably find one. But for the moment, I haven't found one yet. So yeah, there's that to consider as well. But for the most part, it's actually properly built. It's mostly entirely metal, except for like the the knobs that you twist. Yeah, those are the only plastic parts of this and they don't seem like stuff that's going to break very regularly so i think you should be mostly fine with that but anyways that's pretty much my thoughts on the elgato wave arm lp i think it's really nice i think it's something every podcaster every gamer anybody who makes talking at videos and actually has a microphone in a shot i think it's something they should consider buying or using it's really really fantastic you could consider this a quick review of the elgato wave arm lp everything i like about it and everything i don't like and the things i don't like are so negligible honestly that they are not a deal breaker they are just things that i feel like they could improve on the next version of this device thank you so much for watching and i guess i will see you on another video that was shot by kagan peace the kind of gods!